Having lived in Georgia for over a decade, I, I, 10, 11, 12 years, something like that, maybe even 13 years. I'm not sure how long we lived there, but I'd have to go back and add it all up. But it was, it was quite a while. And we lived in Marietta for about half that time and lived up in Roswell. These are both northern suburbs of Atlanta. And I remember when, when Louise and I and our kids were living there in Georgia, this was back during the, the 1980s, Back pretty much throughout the, the most of that decade. Max Cleland was our senator. Max Cleland. Max Cleland, who in 1968, Vietnam War was going full tilt boogie. Max Cleland was an officer in the U.S. Army. He was a, a battalion signal officer. And he was on a hilltop in Vietnam setting up an antenna. Brought in and taken out by helicopter. And as he and two other soldiers were getting out of the helicopter, a grenade fell out of it. Max Cleland reaches, reaches for the grenade. He's going to grab this thing and throw it out of the way or, or you, know, get it, you know, get it out of harm's way before it gets them. And it goes off just as he reaches for it. It took off his arm and both his legs. Max Cleland, the guy who was my senator for most of the time, I maybe all the time I lived in Georgia, was you know one of those genuine war heroes. You could hate the war, but you know there there was no doubting that Max Cleland gave as much as anybody could. I mean, he gave he left two legs and an arm on the battlefield or on the you know, on a mountaintop in Vietnam. So the Republicans decide to run against him. They, they run this guy named Saxby Chambliss, who had no military experience. The guy wimped out during Vietnam. And I, you know, actually, I shouldn't say, you know, I didn't, I didn't go to Vietnam either. So, I, it's, uh, so but Saxby Chambliss was not, not the war hero that Max Cleland was. But in the election of 2002, Saxby Chambliss... Now this keep in mind this was a year after 9/11 a year and two months after 9/11 Saxby Chambliss runs a TV ad that starts out with a picture of Osama bin Laden and then goes into you know this 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 rant about how Max Cleland had voted against George W Bush's efforts to keep us safe words to that effect I, this was one of the sleaziest campaigns probably in my lifetime, at least at the, at the level of the Senate. I mean, here is, here is, is Saxby Chambliss, this, this Republican weasel, calling Max Cleland unpatriotic. Saying that he's basically, you know, not willing to stand up for his country, that he's, he's, he's ignoring the needs of his country. Well, the actual phrase is that he was soft on security. Right. Because Max Cleland, according to Chambliss in this TV ad, voted against the Department of Homeland Security. Now, that's a whole other rant. Where the word homeland came from and the stupidity of, you know, but, you know, we'll save that. Turns out what Cleland actually voted against was a provision that would have stripped away the collective bargaining rights of the employees of the Department of Homeland Security. But in any case, you know, Chambles runs this ad. The polls leading up to the election all showed Max Cleland beating Saxby Chambles by six to seven points. This was the first election in the history of the state of Georgia to use 100% paper-free touchscreen machines. A patch was applied to them just a day or two before the election that was supposed to fix a calendar problem. And somehow that six to seven point lead that Max Cleland had turned into a 140,000 vote victory for Saxby Chambliss. Now, many of us think the vote got flipped, but... Whatever the case may be, 
whether the vote was whether whether Saxby Chambliss has stole that election or it was stolen on his behalf because the same the same kind of flip happened in the gubernatorial race. The Democrat was way ahead. The Republican ended up winning the race. And this was in the pre-election, day of election, and post-election polls. In all of them, they showed Max Cleland and the Democrat running for governor ahead. And then they, according to the uh, Diebold machines, lost. So now Saxby Chambliss has to look out because he's got a crazy guy coming after him. Saxby Chambliss has been in the Senate now, what, about 10 years? And in two years, he's up for re-election. And Eric Erickson, this, this, this crazy guy from, you know, Red State and CNN, well, he, he just, uh, he, I shouldn't characterize him as crazy. I, I'll let him characterize himself. Here's... Uh, Eric Erickson talking about the Augusta, you know, the, the Masters, the golf tournament. Here he is. I don't really care. And I don't care that... Hang on just a second. Let me, let me reset that. Let, let's start over again. This is him talking about how the Masters won't let women play. Now, play it again. I don't really care. And I don't care that the Masters is a male-dominated event. I don't care that women aren't members of the Masters. Frankly, I kind of like the idea that women aren't m- members of the Masters. Good Lord, I don't want to go hang out at some women's event. Can't men go anywhere and just be men? So, Saxby Chambliss has a guy coming after him who just likes to hang out with men, you know. Uh, clip uh, number two. This is Eric Erickson saying that... Uh, Obama supports infanticide. I mean, it, this is how bizarre it gets. Killing baby infanticide means killing babies um, after they're born. But you could, I, however you want to parse it. Here, here he is in all of his. We don't sense. actually want our kids to be killed. I mean, you, Mr. President, you were okay with with kids being born, even though there were supposed to be an abortion, and then killing them after they were born. Infanticide is what we used to call that. Now we call it post birth abortion. Apparently, yeah, right. Um, Eric Eric Erickson uh, asking if Obama is going to crusade to stop women from shaving their armpits. Do we really want to be France? Because that apparently seems to be the goal of the Obama administration. What's next? Are they going to come out on a crusade against shaving your pits if you're a woman? Eric Erickson on hippie protesters, in other words, Occupy people, uh, getting tasered. You can watch it. I won't play it on on the radio because of the number of F-bombs the guy just starts yelling as they're tasing him. (laughs) Uh, uh, But watching a hippie protester get tased just makes my day. All right. This this guy, this this guy now is going to probably, he says he's prayerfully considering it. It, it, Talk show host, author, CNN regular, whatnot, uh, Eric Erickson, is going to probably primary... Saxby Chambliss. And my message to Saxby Chambliss, it's karma, buddy. It's payback time.